Hi, welcome back to this video series on exploring the book, What Happened to You? So this is chapter six and the title was From Coping to Healing. So in this yoga practice, we will be focusing on felt safety within our bodies. So you might notice that today I don't have a chair with me, but you might wanna have a chair. We'll be doing a little bit of balancing. So maybe just press pause when you need to and have that chair handy. So when you're ready, I encourage you to be barefoot for this. If that's not available to you, that's okay. Maybe just remove your shoes at least. Something that you can be more connected to the surface underneath you. So we're gonna start with what's called mountain pose. You've probably done this or heard about this. Um, it's a pretty standard yoga pose. The importance of it and why we're gonna start and we're gonna continue to focus with this uh, mountain pose is because of the connection with the earth beneath us. The earth is there to support us. So the more we can get connected with our feet to not just the floor, so thinking less about the floor surface, but really the earth and the ground beneath you. So I like to start sometimes with my hands on my hips and then look down at my feet. And sometimes I need to adjust the width of my feet. I like to have a little more space between my feet to support my pelvis. I want my feet underneath my pelvis to support me. And as you can see, I'm already starting to um, rock a little bit forward and back, and maybe side to side. I wanna find those places on the bottoms of my feet that make that firm connection. So that would be the heels and then the balls of my feet. My toes can lift up and let my toes kind of wiggle around, feel that air, especially if you're barefoot, feel that air between your toes. And then you can just place your toes back down. Imagine now that you've got like a sesame seed underneath your heels. So come to the balls of your feet, bend your knees, and then squeeze your heels down like you're crushing that sesame seed. And then the same thing, press down your heels, lift the balls of your feet, imagine you've got a sesame seed there, and press down. Now pressing down on the sesame seed from your outer heels, begin to lift through your inner thighs. Lift so much through the inner thighs that you continue that lifting action through the center of your spine and then all the way up through the crown of your head. Take your fingertips to your shoulders. Feel this space, the space from one shoulder tip to the other. And then with your elbows, make a circle and roll your shoulder blades up, back, and down and then release your hands by your sides. Feel that your shoulder blades are placed on the back body. The back body is now able to provide that strength and that support behind you. That's your encouragement. The chest is a little more open and lifted. Maybe you notice that the navel lifted as well. And the head is an extension of the spine. So there's no tension in the neck. You can kind of move your head from side to side. Have you lost that sensation of pressing your feet down? Reconnect if you have. So pressing your sesame seed into the floor, pressing the balls of your feet, lifting through the inner thighs, all the way up through the groins, all the way up through the center of your spine and through the crown of your head. Now with your hands, you can start to open your hands up if you like, feel that external rotation, feel that across your chest. Notice the space between your fingers. If that's too much, then you can place your fingers by your sides. This is mountain pose, here you are. You're open to the world, you're open to receiving. And the reason you're open to receiving is because you've got that support with the earth beneath you and that broadness in your back body. Now from here, let it go and just kinda, you can slump forward. <laughs> you're gonna exaggerate this, so just kinda blah, hang down, all right? So everything just kind of blah, in a heap. Notice how this feels in your breathing. So are you able to breathe the same way you were when you were in mountain pose? I'm guessing probably not. Notice how it feels in your low back. And then notice how it feels in your neck because we need to be aware of what's in front of us so the neck starts to jet out. And then we've got this crunching going on, at least I do, in my low back. So re-engage your mountain pose. So press down your sesame seed, lift your thighs, roll your shoulders up, back, and down and feel that space between your fingers. That's still your space. This is still your container. Breathe here. And as you exhale, even notice on the exhale, you still maintain this space. Know that you can always return to mountain pose at any time. And I encourage you to find mountain pose in those times when either a situation is bothering you 
a person is annoying you, um, you've got something coming up that maybe it's not your favorite thing, you're not looking forward to it, find mountain pose. All right, now to release, again, rather than go into the heap, <laughs> this time we're just gonna let ourselves wiggle and jiggle and bounce, kind of move around. So you can shake your hips, you can move your neck around a little bit, just be gentle with the neck. You can roll your shoulders up and back. We're kind of rebounding here. So the bouncing is really important for us to get reoriented to what's next. So we're gonna do some jiggling, wiggling, jiggling, shaking. So just let this be free form, it's up to you doesn't have to look like mine. Whatever feels okay for you, might feel silly, that's totally fine. We're just resetting the body here. All right, now from here, we're gonna continue on exploring the movements of the spine. So you might wanna take your hips or your feet just a little bit wider this time. And we're gonna place our hands, uh, as we slightly bend the knees, place our hands then at the top of the thighs. And we're gonna go into what's called cat-cow. So you've probably done this, seen this. If you need a quick review, I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see that this is like a rippling through the spine. So as I inhale, I kind of create this concaveness in my back. And then I lift my gaze. And then as I exhale from my tailbone, I curl it under and then I ripple through the spine in this arched and then my gaze goes through my feet or my legs. And then again, from my tailbone, I start to arch through my pelvis and it ripples through, and then I lift my gaze last. And then again, I round the pelvis under, let it ripple through the spine, and take my gaze through my legs. And continue on two more times. Now you can do this faster than me or slower than me. And then on your Last time, connect with your breath. So when you are inhaling, really inhale and expand. And when you exhale, notice that slight contraction, navel to spine. And then when you're ready, come to neutral. Pause there and you can walk your hands up your legs. As you do this, press your hands down into your legs. Feel that connection, that grounding sensation. And then walk yourself back up, right and coming forward. All right, moving on. Now we're gonna do a vinyasa, which is linking movement with breath. And there's three parts. I'm gonna show you these three parts and then we'll maybe be together. So again, my feet are underneath my hips. I've got a so slight soft bend in my knees. We'll start here with our palms at our center. This is our centering pose. From here, we're gonna expand outward. Now you can do this with goalpost arms or you can extend your arms. We'll come back to the center. Then we're gonna lift up, let your eyes track your hands to wherever they're gonna go. So if they're not feeling like they can go all the way to the ceiling, fine, you stay here. So wherever they go, you track with your eyes, come back to your center. And then with my knees softly bent, I'm gonna place my hands on the backs of my legs or near and I'm gonna trace down the backs of my legs to any amount that feels safe in my back. And then I'm gonna trace my hands up the front of my legs, either on or near, coming back to my center. So I'll do one round and I'll show you what this looks like. And then again, you'll just join in when you're ready. So as I inhale, I'm gonna expand and then come back to center on the exhale. Inhale, I'm gonna lift up, exhale back to center. Inhale coming forward, keeping my knees bent to protect my back, and then exhale, tracing up the front side of my body back to center. Okay, if you're ready, please join me now. Inhale, expand across the chest. Exhale, bring it to center. Inhale, track your eyes over your thumbs. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, over your legs, any amount here in a forward bend. Exhale, back up to center. Now we're gonna add some breath to this, breath awareness. So we're gonna inhale for a count of four, and then we're gonna exhale for a count of six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, four four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. 
exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. This time inhale on your toes. Two, three, four. Exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Two more times, I'm not gonna count it for you. As you rise up, track your eyes, lift your heels, and then lower your heels along with your hands. I know it's a little tricky. Pause here. Notice how you feel. Notice if anything has shifted in your awareness, your sensations. So we're gonna do this one more time. This time, we're going to expand, pause for just a beat, and then come back to center. If the four, six rhythm was soothing for you, I encourage you to use that. If that was irritating to you, if that was creating some anxiety, first of all, I apologize. Second of all, let it go. Anything that works for you, it might not be four, six, it might be four, five, it might be three, four. Anything that is one or two counts longer on the exhale will facilitate some of that relaxation response. So I will lead you through this and then of course you will do this whether it's with me or at your own pace. This is your practice. I'm just here to make an offering. When you're ready, starting at center. One, two, three, four, pause. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, pause. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, pause. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Please continue on your own for two rounds. The pause at the top of the inhale is a quick beat. You're not holding your breath, it's just a pause. Ready, bring your hands back to center and again notice any radiant sensations. That was a simple three part vinyasa. You could do this any time during your day. If you need to take a mental health break, this is a tool. Put it in your toolbox, bring it out whenever you need just a, a brief break. And when you're ready, we'll continue on. 